Well, Mark, a two-all draw in the end, but I suppose you're, you're disappointed when you're 2-0 up. You should be winning those games. Yeah, the game's never over, is it? And from the position we were in, you can't see anything else other than us, us going on to win the game. But listen, they can't. There's not a lot we can do with with mistakes of that magnitude. We can't. It's not a coaching thing. It's just an individual, um, an individual thing. And I think if we hadn't made them this year, we'd probably be 15 points clear at the top of the league. I was say it's been a while, hasn't it, since those mistakes? But they were creeping in at the start of the season. We seem to address them, but they come back today. Yeah, there was another one on Saturday, wasn't there? Um, at Newport um, and two like that's the biggest give me Chess, uh, Cheltenham will get this season to to get back into the game like that Up until we scored the first goal how did you see the game and how it's panning out? I thought we controlled large periods of the game I didn't ever feel that their biggest threat is their wing backs and the crosses they put in us certainly the left wing back and we dealt with that quite comfortably and uh, we had a lot of chances first half um, we didn't take them and then second half we weathered a bit of a storm for five, ten minutes and then got our goals and it looked as though we were going to go and win the game but it's never over till it's over and you've got to be ultra professional and keep doing the right things. That first goal seems to come just at the right time, didn't it? That's a great goal, two really good goals from us. Mm. Again, like I say we played some really good football from the goalkeeper all the way through to the front part of the pitch and uh, there's no beating around the bush, you have to win that game. 2-0 up with no danger at all you have to win the game We spoke about George Williams on Boxing Day but Tavon Campbell has got a couple now you must be pleased for him and he's taking his chance now he's given the start That's right that's what you need you need players when they come onto the pitch or when they start you need them to have an impact um, you know so it's important that players are ready when they come on the pitch and George, to affect the game And George Williams full of confidence right now he took his goal very well That's right great finish from him great finish from Tav but it feels as though we've lost today when we should have wrapped up a comfortable win. You look back at the Christmas period so far, though, you've taken two wins and a draw. You must be really happy with that that return over those three games. Or would you to, rather have three? I, I'm devastated with the result because we should have won the game today. 2-0 up and under no pressure and we we give one... We actually play them through on goal. And then our goalkeeper flaps one onto the goal line from outside of the, nearly off the pitch, actually onto our goal line for a tap-in. So we can't do anything about that, which has got to be better. We could have gone third if we'd held on to that, that victory, I think. Um, as it is, we've still gone up a place. It's still all to play for, isn't it? Second half of the season going into 2019. That's correct. And, and, and even at 2-2, we had a great chance to win it. And Winnie's had a shot, which uh, one of their players has saved full length with his arm on the, on the goal line. And... Um, and he's never seen it, but there we go. Great stuff. Appreciate your time, Mark.